everybody, this is Valentina from The Real Italian Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful root vegetable soup. The vegetables that we're going to use today are a rutabaga, turnip, leeks and celeriac, which is a celery root. These roots are wonderful for detoxing the body, they're great for your heart, they're rich in vitamin C, which is essential, especially if you're a vegetarian, because it helps you absorb iron better. So let's go see how to make the soup. I'm going to start by cutting the rutabaga in half. Then I'm going to quarter it. I peel it just like an apple with a small serrated knife. Then I switch back to my lovely ceramic knife to cut the rutabaga in smaller chunks. Throw the half of the rutabaga in the pot or pressure cooker, set the other half aside. Turnips, peel it, cut it, celery root. Make sure to cut out all the nooks and crannies that are filled with dirt. There's nothing worse than sand in a soup. And after you've done peeling it, wash it. And then cut it in chunks. And throw it in the pot. Leeks are another vegetable that is difficult to clean. So first, I cut the end off, then I wash it, then I change cutting board, I cut it in half, and I make sure I wash thoroughly between the layers. Now it should be perfectly clean, cut all the way up to the dark green leaves, and then look inside the dark green leaves and you'll find more tender leaves. Yay! These this is the part of the leaf that gives it a super strong leaf flavor. So leave it out if you don't like it very much. What I do, throw it in the pot. We're gonna add some water, a little turmeric for color, and it also has antibacterial properties, salt, and cover the pressure cooker, and wait for it to gain pressure. Then cook seven minutes from that point. Or you can cook in a regular pot for about 20 minutes. While that cooks, I finished cutting the vegetables I didn't use so I can store them in the freezer for the next time I want to make this soup. Or a different soup. It's just good to have vegetables ready to go when you need them. They store perfectly well in this awesome plastic bag. Ta-da! Don't forget to recycle! When it's cooked, it's going to look like this. Now, let's mush it all up with an immersion blender or a regular blender. To make it more appealing to my omnivore husband, I toast up some spicy sausage grumbles in a non-stick pan and those will be delicious with this delicate soup. So this is it. This is the soup. Once it's ready, I'm gonna give it a little taste. Mm. Topped it off with some extra virgin olive oil or you can crumble some sausages and use the fat of the sausages instead of the oil. It's really delicious. The rutabaga really give it a nice mild taste. And I have enough to put away and have as a snack tomorrow. Thank you so much for following The Real Italian Kitchen. Don't forget to check out Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, Pinterest, and of course, my website, realitaliankitchen.org. See you the next time. Please subscribe. Ciao, ciao.